last week justin said they've released llama fire which should support android i was like that's so hype and then i tried it this afternoon like two hours ago but i still got this error which was the original error that um, we got nmap error um but then justin was like i think i know the issue and sent me some test scripts to run and they ran fine they will make a new release probably um very soon with the working android version of llama file but yeah i want to quickly show you guys how to get that running so you can run any llm model on your phone and potentially even run a inference server off of your android phone so the first thing you want to do is download llama file um so it'll probably be version 0.8.9 by the time you're watching this um so yeah click releases and you can just download the base llama file here now same file is portable across any os so windows linux and now android um and yeah it works really well so you download that you also want a gguf model to run with it so gguf models are like quantized models that work really well with llama file and um like these kind of llama cpp frameworks so you can run it with just your cpu and you can also use gpu offloading if you want and to find them you can just type whatever model we're going to do tiny llama um because it's the smallest one so it'll run really really easily and then just put gguf and typically you'll find them on hugging face so i guess you could type the same thing in hugging face search um and then yeah find it i've downloaded this one you go into files here um when when you find the when you find the project on hugging face you'll be on the model card tab um, by default you should go into the files tab and download one of these so you can see these are all different quantized versions um so the the smallest one q2 um, will be the smallest um, but it might not be the smartest and then q8 is like has the most kind of precision but it's also the biggest file i've found um that the sweet spot is actually q4 km supposedly shout out to this person on the open interpreter discord cyanide they link this um reddit post where they kind of test the different quant versions and supposedly uh, q4 km is a sweet spot where like anything lower than K q4 kind of loses a lot of quality but q4 seems to be a sweet spot so i don't know i took that knowledge and i downloaded q4 uh, which is only like about 700 megs when you get those two files um you want to put them into your phone so i don't know how whatever way you normally put files on your phone i use android file transfer on mac um, on windows you don't need a third party app but on mac you do which pretty much is just a file explorer um, i put it in the download folder i made a new folder in downloads called llama i pull it put it in here um but um, i'll show you you can't actually run it from your internal storage on android um on termux for some reason so you, there's a couple other steps so let's hop over to my phone screen and i'll show you so let's open up termux you need termux this is an app can get it from the app store but i recommend getting it from fdroid um you'll have access to more packages from f and um, if you put it in your downloads folder like i did we can just cd into storage downloads and i put it into a llama folder here now um you might see your files here so i'm just gonna make a example llama file uh, as an example here so you can see we have example llama file now if this was an executable we can't actually run um executables on local storage internal storage or something on termux for some reason so i actually had to move it to the home folder which you can get with um dollar sign home um which is in this directory here so what i did was i made a directory in home um called llama now we already have that and then i moved all the files in the downloads into that directory with this command here mv star for everything into home llama now i've already done that so i'm just going to cd into home llama and you can see here i have a bunch of those scripts that um justine sent me to test and the two main files here llama file and tiny llama they're the ones that we're most interested in so we can just run that now you uh, you first have to enable the executable permissions for llama file so you can do that with chmod plus x and then the llama file that you downloaded yours will probably be something like llama file underscore v0 v uh 0 0.8.8 uh or 9 something like that uh, run this command and then that'll change the permissions for you to be able to actually execute it once you've done that you just execute it with dot forward slash llama file and then
then we can load in the model with dash M and then I'm going to load in the tiny llama model. Um, I'm pressing tab for completion here, which you can press this button here um, for the tab completion. And yeah, just like that, I think we can press enter now and it will load that model. Now this is in, yeah, and you can see it actually opened up the inference server here. So it's running locally on my Android phone and we can prompt it just through this web app here. Like, how is your day? And um, we can see we have locally running tiny llama on my android through this web app now because it's running locally on an inference server we could theoretically interface with it with other agents and stuff on the android phone as well completely offline so that's super super cool uh yeah and that's the tutorial